Hi, it's me, Greg Shapiro, putting the GS in SDGs. The SDGs, aka Sustainable Development Goals, or for the conservatives, several droning Gretas. It's true climate news can be depressing, but it's also true that there are so many sustainable innovations that are really exciting, as well as a lot of bullshit that is actually greenwashing. How to tell the difference? It's time for a new weekly series introducing CNC Climate News Comedy. Every week I try to do six jokes in 60 seconds. Hi, it's me, Greg Shapiro, with this week's Climate News Comedy, anything it takes to make climate news funny. G7 countries to stop funding fossil fuel development overseas. From now on, they promise to develop fossil fuels only underseas. The G7 shift came from Japan, which held firm against such a pledge before last year's COP26 climate summit. What changed? In a word, Russia. Way to go, Vlad! Less methane from permafrost than feared. Though don't worry, there are still plenty of ancient uncurable viruses coming free. California erects solar panels over canal to save huge supply of water from evaporation. The project is scheduled to start 20 years ago and it actually might have made a difference. Tech expert says the COVID pandemic forced so much adaptation it's like humanity progressed 10 years in the last 18 months. Meaning after two or three more pandemics we should be caught up. And people in the US and UK face huge financial hit if fossil fuels lose value study finds, proving conclusively that bullshit pro-oil studies have infiltrated even the Guardian. Dutch Zoo works with Delft startup to restore coral reefs. The Delft-based startup called Reefy. Reefy, not to be confused with the Dutch stereotype reefer. Although, the startup is ready for some reefy madness. Seagrass, the plant that removes carbon 30 times faster than a rainforest, should be grown right next to the reefy madness. Meet the meat and dairy farmers who are going vegan, like Claudia Troxler, who shifted from dairy farming to producing oatmeal water. Oatmeal water? You mean oat milk? Do I need to do the marketing for everybody? 200 US cities composting food waste to cut tons of emissions. And considering that they could feed the compost into an anaerobic digester and create CNG to heat their homes, it's like celebrating a touchdown at the 50 yard line. Man creates environmental charity with 200 million euro lottery win. Isn't that great? According to this headline, all we need to do to survive on this planet is rely on more people to win the lottery. Eurostar to launch high-speed trains between London and Germany. Whoo, that's going to be a very long tunnel. There's a cheap solution to the electric vehicle charging conundrum. It's called working from home. 4,100 feet underground, scientists test a unique geothermal energy system in a former gold mine. If it's true they can power 10 million homes, it'll be worth way more than gold. Human urine could be an effective and less polluting crop fertilizer. It could easily catch on in the United States where the economy has been pissing on farmers for years. CO2 emissions just the tip of the iceberg for the climate cost of air travel, although the iceberg is disappearing. Largest solar car park in the world opens at famous Dutch music festival, Lowlands, generating enough power to supply 100 Lowlands festivals. The next challenge is to generate electricity from hip-hop fans bouncing on the dance floor, installing toggle switches for everyone getting their ones up, and somehow harnessing energy from the lower jaws of people on ecstasy. Hang, hang, hang. 